Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My brothers and sisters, I wanted to share something that happened with me personally. Uh, not too long ago, I went to visit a friend of mine whose mother was dying of cancer. She had been battling cancer for about five years and uh, news came to me that uh, she was, was on her last days. So I went to visit the brother and as I sat down with him, he was explaining to me that his mother is going through that state of sakarat al maut conscious and unconscious, and, and that the cancer was really starting to spread all over. So as I sat with this friend of mine and we were talking, his eyes teed up. So I naturally, I mean, I assumed that because his mother's dying and... So I tried to comfort him and I said to him, look, you know, this is natural in life. And he said to me, I'm not crying because she's leaving. And of course I am upset, but that's not why I'm crying. I said, then why are you upset? He said, I'm upset because all my life, I've never thanked my mother for what she's done. And honestly, I can't explain what happened to me when he said these words, you know. He said, all my life, I've never once in my life said thank you to my mum. He said, and now that she's sitting in the next room and she's alive, but she's conscious and unconscious, and even if I spoke to her, she's not going to be able to understand or comprehend the words that I'm saying. And wallahi, my brothers and sisters, this really affected me. That all his life, you know, all of our lives, for those of us who are fortunate enough that their mothers are still around, you know. My mum has been there all my life, never failed me once, never failed me once, and never once have I ever come to her and just said thank you. And not one of those thank yous with some flowers, and that's a good thank you, but those really deep thank yous. You know, that thank you that if she left me now, I've told her and I've thanked her from the depths of my heart. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, I, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't been able to forget this. That when was the last time you thanked your mother? When was the last time you showed your mother genuine appreciation for everything that she's ever done? Or are we going to be like those, or are we going to be of those who when our mothers leave us permanently, then we will sit back and remember and start to regret that I didn't take advantage of the opportunity when I had it. You know, my brothers, in many places around the world, they celebrate this thing called Mother's Day. And it breaks my heart because in Islam, in truth, Mother's Day is every day. We don't single out one day of the year to say, oh, mom, look, I remembered you today. But rather, we're ordered by Allah and His Prophet, more or less, to remember our mothers on a daily basis. A man came to the Prophet of Allah and he says to him, our Prophet of Allah, and many of us get this hadith wrong. He says, our Prophet of Allah, who is most deserving of my kind treatment? He says to him, your mother. He says, then whom? He said to him, your mother. He said to him, then whom? He said to him, your mother. He said, then whom? He said, then your father. Many of us, we interpret this to be love, that my mother is most deserving of my love. No, the person that is most deserving of your kind treatment, of your money, of your health, of, your, of everything that you possess, the person that is most deserving of this more than anyone above all is your mother, then your mother, then your mother, and then your father. My brothers and sisters, in short, many of us, we still have our mothers. Wallahi, do not be of the losers who wait until our mothers leave us permanently, only then to wish and to regret and say, you know, I wish I can go back and thank my mother. If your mother is still around, you know, run. By Allah, run to her and thank her for everything that she's done. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who have the best relationship with their mothers. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them Jannah.